So here I have a large piece of poplar. Uh, I already cut the log in half. I made a line here to square up this piece and then did a best fit to try and find the center. And it looks a little off so I used the circle jig and I found the best fit for a 12 inch bowl. And the center ended up being maybe a centimeter higher, half inch higher. So I traced out what will be a 12 inch bowl and now I'm going to work to cut these corners off, drill a hole for, I'm probably not going to use a worm screw, I'm going to use a face plate. So I'll uh, find the face plate size, use this one, and it's like four and a half inch. So I'll make a five inch um, circle and then center that with the face plate to get it in the rough center. Now I can eyeball a center and screw it in. And that'll give me a good hold where a worm screw not not quite strong enough for this size blank. So I'll work on knocking these corners off and getting this on and mount it up on the lathe. Alright, so I used my little electric chainsaw and knocked off the corners as best I could. That'll help it balance a little bit and won't have to waste as much time knocking the corners off before I can make it round. So now I'm going to mount the face plate. Alright, face plates all mounted up. Like I said, this is poplar. It is still wet. It was cut down maybe two weeks ago. And I had uh, put some sealer on the end grain. But I'm going to take this piece and turn it wet right now. All the other stuff I'll let dry for a little while. Too horribly out of balance, but obviously it is. Alright, so I got it up to about 450 RPM, and I could feel the water spraying at me and seeing it on my face shield. So, like I said, it's still very wet. So, I'll work at getting it around. Probably time to sharpen too. I don't know if. Yeah. I'm just gonna grab another tool that's already sharp, work on it for a little while, and sharpen them all at the end.
So if I remove this little piece here and here, then I think we'll have all good wood. Then I can shape my tenon. And then we can flip it around. It's got one little flat spot here, but I'm working on getting rid of that. So it's coming along good. Alright, I got the shape about where it needs to be. Now I need to uh, square up the bottom and shorten the tenon. So I got a freshly sharpened bowl gouge. I'm going to work on uh, flattening that out and sizing the tenon for my large jaws. Alright, tenon's made, it's all solid wood. The uh, shape is made. A lot of tear out, I'm attributing that to being extremely wet. Uh, so now we're going to flip it around. Uh, just want to clean up a few more spots, see if I can help it at all with the tear out. What's that? just like <laughs> pure water <laughs> and I did a little bit maybe all right so the tenons too long <laughs> Got to get back on the face plate and take some off. So I got it on the truck now. And I got good clearance. And I have a good gap here that's going to allow me to uh, true up the tenon once it dries and still have a good bite for these large set of jaws. Still the pith here. I'm all stoned beyond where it was starting to crack. So I'll shorten it up a little bit more. And there's the piece of the pith. So I'm right there. Just gonna go another quarter inch
right here you can see the, the pith I'm trying to get rid of. Uh, I'm going to work on just getting this flat starting to hollow, then take some more off the rim. Most of it gone, and now I'm just gonna work on hollowing. And I'll bring it back in a little bit. So I've gotten just about as deep as the tailstock will let me. Uh, so now I'm gonna pull it away, break off the little tower I made, and then start shaping from the top down in to give me about an inch of thickness. focus on wall thickness and slowly work on depth. Pretty nice grain pattern as we move from the heartwood towards the lighter sapwood. I'll tell you, this wood stinks. <laughs> it's not horrible, but it's not great. So it looks like I'm about two thirds of the way down to where I need to be for final depth. Alright, so. I have the bowl shaped, dimensioned, thickened to approximately one inch all the way around. And now I'm going to try to use some 80 grit sandpaper to try and knock down these torn out grain. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. I'm just going to try it. And that way it'll have a smooth finish to dry on. I'm debating still whether or not I want to seal it using tree saver to help slow the drying process. I haven't before and I've had good luck just with shavings. So first we'll get to the high grit sandpaper or low grit sandpaper and we'll see if that helps. Not really doing anything except clogging up the sandpaper. Good enough. All right, so we've got the bowl shaped. And now 
we're going to see how much it weighs. Alright, let's go to grams. Eighty seven point one ounces. And that was two kilograms, four seven four grams. Five point four four five pounds. So heavy, but like I said, this thing is soaking wet. Can, uh, just feel how wet it is. Uh, the final, I shaped it for twelve inches. And what I have is right now just under 11 at the widest point. And right now it sits four and a quarter inches tall, but it has that about quarter inch uh, tenon. So about four inches tall, 11 inches wide. It's an inch thick all the way around now, and when I final shape it, it'll be probably closer to a quarter inch. Get it down, maybe three eighths, maybe a little thicker. And that's it. So now I'm going to get it in a bag full of shavings. That's what I'm going to do to help get rid of all the shavings all over the floor. But uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. Like this video and share it with your friends. Again, thanks for watching.